Hey everybody, this is Teslon for Drop Top Tees. And today we are going to be installing the new Go Pedal Plus for the 124 Spider from Madness Auto Works. Now, I already have the Go Pedal one. And uh, so my installation will be just a small bit different than you if you're installing it from stock. But I'll show you the difference. It's actually harder for me to do this than it is for you for stock. I have one more thing I have to detach and plug back in. Okay, so before we get into the installation, right now, go get the controller, flip it over, and on the back you'll see a pass key. It's a six digit number. Write that down. Alternatively, you see pretty much the same label on the box that it shipped in. Um, you can find the pass key there as well. But you are going to need this to sync it up with your smartphone if you choose to go with controlling the uh, wireless controller through your smartphone app. All you're going to have to get is a small screwdriver if you don't have strong fingernails, 10 millimeter wrench or ratchet. Now, obviously because we're going to hook it up to the accelerator, if you have a uh, floorboard mat protector in, you're going to have to take that out first. I already did. And when you go to do yours, unless you already have a go pedal on it, this wire doesn't exist. This is because I have the go pedal which is right here, which I'm going to attach. By the accelerator, there's two plastic caps. We have to pop those off. You can use a trim removal tool for this too. They just pop out. So we just take the bolts off or the nuts off. And you'll see they, they don't they aren't really torqued down more than I guess it's a bolt. They aren't torqued down very much more than hand tightened. There's not a lot of tension on it. And once we take those out, this whole unit just lifts out. Okay, so again, I have a little bit more wires than what you'll see on yours. So here we have the way it would be hooked up if you didn't already have a go pedal on it. And this piece hooks onto here just the way that piece I took off is. You don't have all the extra wires. So you do the same thing. You lift that off, pull it out, and now it's time to hook in, splice in the new piece. Now you can't do this the wrong way. Here, show this. There's two connections and as you can see, they're totally different. Get down close, okay? The shorter, somewhat stockier one goes on the accelerator. The thinner, longer one goes on the wiring toward the front of the car. So we'll do that one first. There's two rails on this side, one rail on that side. And you'll see on here, get down in close. There's a little ridge in the middle on the one side. That's where the two rails go. So we're just going to slide this in, snap, you hear it snap. And then this piece will go right here. You want it to click and that's done. Now we just tuck this down in here and uh, we're gonna bolt it back down. I'll take it. So you just have to twist underneath, just reposition and get that into where you can put your, your throttle or your accelerator assembly back down on. I run the wire right out the side here and I'm going to mount it right up here. My goal is to, uh, is I don't want to have the wire where it's going to interfere with my foot. But remember, I'm putting down a uh, 
a, a Max Piter floor mat. So it's gonna cover this up. So now we're going to put the bolts back in. Let me show you a little trick with these. The bottom one's just one hole. The top one has a slider. So it's actually better to get the top one in first, get the top one started. And once you get that threaded, you can slide this assembly up or down a little bit and get the bottom one to match up. There we go. Now again, this isn't torqued down very hard, so you don't need a lot. Of, don't put a lot of effort into tightening this down. Make it snug. And um, now we just have to put the caps back on. When you get the kit, it has this, some adhesive pads you can use these but here as you'll see I already have velcro prepped the way you do this is the way these little cutouts are you line them vertically so they don't interfere in case you ever have to open it up you just put these on here and obviously on the other one you'd switch it around and then they have these to put on the back of your holder and again, I'm going with Velcro because I did that with my last one and I liked it. All I did, this is real simple, and they have some tie downs, some uh, tie strips, um, zip lift blocks for uh, the wire if you need to try to get it out of the way. All I did, because I just happened to have this, I have some Velcro, so I just cut it out to conform to those two pieces and I'm going to use Velcro. So we're going to take and plug this in. This side, you can see it's more smooth back here. Here's where the clip is. Here's where the holes are. Once again, you want it to click. And I'm going to stick it right up here in front of my controller for my subwoofer. And then the beauty of this is this is handheld, it's wireless, and um, you can also um, control it through a phone app. I'm just showing you the install in this video. I'm going to turn around and make another video that talks to you about how to use the controller and um, all the different features on it and um, why this is just an awesome thing to buy. So, let me see if I can get the backing off this. Here we go. So I just stopped the video to post this picture because where I, where I initially put down the handheld wireless controller, um, which was basically in the same position where I had the previous controller. I didn't really like that when I went out and started driving around. So I experimented and I ended up putting it where you can see right in the center of the dash, um, just below the hazard warning light button. I really like it in that position because it's very accessible as I'm driving. And uh, if I wanna change modes, like if I get in slow traffic or whatever, I can flip it really easy. It's easy to see. It's easy to adjust. By the way, you have instructions that come with it, both on how to use it, how to hook it up. And uh, they have a PDF file you can download on site. So to initialize the GoPedal Plus, 
put your car in neutral parking brake on without depressing your brake or clutch press the start button twice to put your car in ignition mode on and then fully depress your accelerator pedal to the floor hold for two seconds release turn the car off you're now synced up ready to go and uh, like I said in the next video I'll go through all the functions on how to set your controller and how to use it as well as with the smartphone I want to thank you madness for giving me the opportunity to do this and um, tomorrow the day after I post this video I'll post a video on how to use the controller the functions it has added over the go pedal this is the go pedal plus and as always I will give you a link to this product in the video description below the video if you like the video thumbs up hit subscribe and I'll see you again real soon.